Hey, so you're gonna need either Photoshop with the DDS plugin or Paint.net. Paint.net already has a plugin and a compression tool to extract. Go to your root mod folder, go to the main directory and unzip the IWD04. Go inside of the IW04 images and what you want to do is make a mod folder to place these objects in. So go to the main on the right, we've got common mods, make a new file, name it whatever you want. I'll call it AKP. Go into that, go to the left side where your images are and search for AK. So we want the AK weapon skin. The dash C or underscore C, that's the file you want. So you copy that across. Now I'm just grabbing the mod folder. So just go to mod warfare, grab the two files from that so that we have a mod. So now we have the three files. Now on the left hand side, we have plugin for Photoshop from NVIDIA and the right hand paint.net. So just download those both, install them. You also need the DDS to IWI converter. Grab that off uh, CFD Factory, I'll link it below. Now open that IWI in Photoshop with the plugins. In this case, I've just overlaid a texture, really basic. And um, one thing you need to do is rasterize the layer on the right hand side. So I'm going to right click, rasterize. Then I'm just bringing down transparency so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to delete areas where I want the original texture to show through with the detailing, like the wood, that's very detailed. And there's a trigger, that's the stock. Bullet top, so that's the top of the magazine, back of the magazine. That's the handle, obviously. That's the back of the site, that's the side of the site. That's the little top down site. That's like the very back of the stock. Bring up the uh, transparent to 100. Now I save a Photoshop file so I can come back and edit it again. Because if you save it IWI, you can't edit it with the layers. So now save it again, go back one folder as a DDS. Rename the compressed file to Z underscore, whatever you want to call it, dot IWD. Now start the mod, find the mod, launch it. Go into a map. Now you get the AK custom skin. Now this is another one I've done the MP5, but it took about three hours to do this. And now I'm just showing you the layers I've got on the right hand side. I've sort of mixed a comic book and multiple versions of it. Instead of having multiple IWD files with textures in them, I extracted the image files from each mod and placed them into one directory and zipped and renamed it to Z underscore AK IWD. It's just a bit neater this way. With this one, I've just at the end of the executable added a target of the name of the mod I want. So I can just quickly launch that executable and it loads directly into the mod. It saves you a bit of time. Now this is with all my textures, sky textures, new gun, hands, and the new gun I just made. So, yeah, looks interesting. It's not too hard. This is the AK that I spent a bit more time refining. So it's a little bit more detailed. It has, you know, it's not carbon everywhere. I left it off the magazine because I thought it looked a bit tacky. And now I've got little gloves with AK logo. That looks, doesn't look too bad. With also in the Photoshop, you can do some blendings. So change around with the blending methods to make it look a bit more organic. Here I've just done different colors to figure out where it corresponds because it took me a while, a while to work out. It's not quite logical. The, the texture mappings don't quite map to where you think they would on the actual gun. So I just painted bits, zipped it up and put it in the game to find out where it was. Maybe you could look at these and get uh, hints. Here I've made another carbon gun for the AK-74U. See how if you place just the texture on it, it doesn't look that great. I see a lot of quick texture packs you can download and they look quite bad. All right, thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. You wanna Learn more cool stuff. Have a good day. See ya.